Hey there, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. Before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. In today's video, we are going to discuss two CSS properties, grid row and grid column, but with combination. So in earlier videos, we already go uh, went through these two properties how you can use these properties independently. But in this video, we will see how you can use these two properties in single element, on single element. So the grid row and grid column properties define which row or column an element will be displayed on. So obviously this is for grid layout css grid layout and to see how exactly this property works together let's create one simple example in css and html so in html let's say we have one div with some class grid so this is our grid container and within div this container we have class item one so let's make it one, two, three. So we have total three items in this display grid. So let is let it be item one, item two, and item three. Okay, so now nothing for now, right? So let's go to CSS and in grid class, we should have display grid. First of all, grid container okay let's add some background background color let's add some light background color here border one pixel solid and uh, let's make it light okay now so we have now this three divs here okay here with this let's add grid gap 10 pixel and padding as well 10 pixel okay now with this grid what we can add here grid template columns repeat 3 1 fr and same for let me copy this same for rows so grid template rows so now we have total three grids here. So let's go and try to inspect that. Right. So now we have this three grid here, three grids here. All right. So let's go to another CSS grid space div. So it will apply all the divs within this grid. So what I'm going to do here, I'm adding some CSS for this divs, for these items. Okay. Let me add background color mm, green. All right. Color white and see how it looks. Okay. So this is fine. He, with this, we should also add grid display grid so it will be treated as grid place item center so it will be in center okay and to add height let's add height minimum height 100 pixel okay so now we have these three grids so layout is three by three because here we have given grid template columns 3 and grid template rows as 3 as well all right so now we have this 3 by 3 grid layout with us so to understand how this grid row and grid column property works let's go to each item and add some css here so first of all we will add item 1 that is this item 1 and we will add grid column 
so we have two values here with grid column 1 and 3 for example and see how this property works so item 1 and this is let me refresh yeah this is grid column 1 3 so when you say 1 that is the value of grid column start so what does what does it mean this item 1 element starts from column 1 that is this place this location right let's change it to 2 then you will see the difference right so these are columns these are rows so when you add 2 it will start from this location second column so 1 and 3 so third value is so second value is grid column end so end means where this column ends so this grid element ends so if you make it 2 you see this is the default layout right so when you make it 3 it ends here so what does it mean it means this grid element ends before the third grid element starts second not third but so in column it will be third so first second third we have three columns right so when you hover here you will see we have three columns so when you apply grid column it will define which column an element should display on with this grid column you can also add grid row so when you use these two properties together you can define the location of your grid easily so now we have two three okay so now since we have added two three where it is yeah here grid row start that is two that's why it is starting from row number two this is row one this is row two so it is starting from row number two and ends before row number three that's why it is ending here if you change it to row four it will cover the fourth grid as well so not fourth the third because it is it will end where this fourth row starts but we don't have fourth row so it will end here at the third row so to make sure it is consistent two three it is starting from row number two and ending here before row number three this makes sense right similarly item two so why i'm adding three items separately to make sure that we understand its position properly okay so now we have grid column and what we will add here 3 minus 1 and see item number 2 so when you add let me refresh again when you add grid column 3 minus 1 3 means grid column starts 3 so this is fine grid column 1 grid column 2 and grid column 3 so that's why it is starting from here and when you apply minus 1 here let's see if you apply 1 if you make it 1 if you make it 1 it will cover this value because it will end here right so to cover so when you use minus value it will start from right to, to it's not exactly starting from right but you can say it will cover the remaining space okay that's why it is here the position of item 2 is here with this grid column you can also use grid row and we can use 1 and 2 here now you see this grid row starts from row number 1 that is 1 this is row 1 so this is expected and n value is 2 so second row starts from here 
and it is uh, ending here so if you make it three it will cover two rows okay so this is easy to understand okay let me add item number three and grid iphone column three four all right so when you apply three four this is also easy to understand starting value is three so column one column two column three this is where it is starting and ending value is four so we have total four uh, total three rows and three columns so if you make it two it will be uh, ending before here before third column but we want to place it here so you can either make it three or four okay so with this you can also add grid row and we will add two four so when you add two four the start value grid row start will be second row that is starting from here if you hover you will understand second row is starting from here right and ending value is four so ending value is four if you update it to three it will not cover the third row but four will cover this third row as well so using grid row and grid column both property together you can define which row and column an element will display on all right so this was the quick introduction how you can use grid row and grid column properties together thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content Stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next. See you in the next video. Bye.